Hello, I'm Romila De Silva and I welcome you all to this series called Word Bar Made Easy. This series is aimed at helping you build a better vocabulary. Throughout this series, you will be learning lots of new words. You will learn how to pronounce these words and how to use these words correctly. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit the notification bell. You can also join our Telegram channel and group. How to get better at English Before we start, there are a few important points. Work with me in these classes. I want you to work with me, be present, be involved and just be a part of the experience. Talk aloud when I ask you to. When you will be learning new words, especially the pronunciations, it will really help you if you say these words out loud two, three times or as many times as needed. That way, you can make a note of where you are going wrong, whether you are saying the words correctly, incorrectly. It will also help you remember things better. And finally, get a pen and paper, note your responses. I've included a lot of practice questions for you all. Match the following true or false, yes and no questions. So you can write your answers and then you can check these answers whether you're correct or not. You can also make a note of any important points. Okay? Mastering the pronunciation. Before we get to the main part, before we start learning the words and the pronunciations, there are a few basic but important points about the pronunciation system that you need to learn. So let's do that first. I would like to introduce you all to something called the schwa. Throughout this series, you are going to see this schwa a lot. In almost every pronunciation, you are schwa to see this schwa. Okay, this is how it's denoted like an ulta e. Okay, and it's basically a vowel sound. Just say a, e, i, o, u. These are your vowels, right? So schwa is basically a vowel sound. So it makes an a uh sound. Say it with me. A, uh, a. Uh. So this schwa makes an a uh sound. Let's take a few examples here. Just say mother. Okay. Mother me you can note ki jo R hai, the R is silent. You don't pronounce the R. You don't say mother. You say mother. Just say father, brother, daughter. In words maybe the R is silent. These words end in a schwa. These words end with the a uh sound. Mother. Take it. About maybe about begins with the schwa. It starts with the a uh sound. About. Right? About. Same with different. Different maybe you can see in this syllable. Different. Runt. Runt may be a uh sound present here. So in sub words may you see the schwa. Aise hi throughout the series, bohat sare words may you are going to see this a uh sound. The schwa is going to be present in many pronunciations. So here are a few words for you all to practice. Previous, sentence, allowed, normal. What you can do is you can write these words down and try saying these words out loud. That way you can note where the shaw sound is present. Okay? Ye a sound kaha pe aara hai in words mein that you can note. Next. Now let's understand the accent. What is accent? I've taken an example here. The word conversational. Kaafi bada word hai. So I've broken it down into syllables. Ye jo circle ho raha hai. These are your syllables. Okay? Accent mark. Now you can note ki ye kon or se. In dono syllables ke baad there is an apostrophe mark. Isko accent mark bolte hai. And it is used to stress the syllable. Okay. Un syllables pe zor dene ke liye ye accent mark use hua hai. So say it out loud. Conversational. Conversational. Say it out loud two, three times. And you can notice that con and se. Ye dono syllables are standing out more compared to the rest of the syllables. In syllables pe thoda zor pad raha hai. Which is why we are using the accent mark to stress the syllable. Next, ye jo se hai, you can see it is in capital. Ye se upper case mein hai aur baaki ke syllables lower case mein hai. Why? Upper case is used to strongly stress the syllable. Okay, ye jo capital letters hai. It means ki you are supposed to strongly stress the syllable. Now already there is an accent mark. So con and se are standing out. But again, 
Try saying it out loud. Conversational. Try saying it again. Conversational. You can note that the say is standing out the most compared to the rest of the syllables. Con bhi stress, stress ho raha hai, but say usse zyada stress ho raha hai. Which is why we are using the upper case. So, jahan lower case ho ga, wo syllables stress nahi ho raha hai, un syllables pe zor nahi pad raha hai. So, you are going to say those normally. But jab capital mein ho ga, to you are going to stress in that syllable. Okay, us syllable pe aapko zor dena hai while saying the word. And finally, we have the schwa. Schwa to ab aapko pata hai. It is the a uh sound, the vowel sound. Again, it's present here. Wa, shan, al. In tino syllables mein, ye a uh sound present hai. The schwa is present. Okay? So, throughout the series, when you'll be learning pronunciations, this is what a typical pronunciation would look like. Isi form mein hoga, it will be broken down into syllables. Or ye schwa, accent mark, capitalized uh, letters. In ki madad se, you will be learning how to say the words correctly, how to pronounce these words. Okay, so I hope now you have a clear idea of how the pronunciation system works. So this was just a short introductory session for you all, just to give you a brief idea of what you'll be learning and what will be the approach. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.